All Blacks versus England is upon us. Both teams have been released. Razor has named his first ever All Blacks match 23 squad to take on England. First of two match series. <sighs> Firstly, how bloody close was I to my prediction? I'm going to put both of the teams up here. Mine and then the one that was named. Pretty close, I think. Few changes, obviously. I'm not Razor. I'm not the All Blacks coaching setup um and man it's all it's all building up now what a weekend of rugby coming up and first to kick it off is all blacks versus england if there was ever a chance slightest chance since 2003 that the last time england beat all blacks in new zealand i think that's true i did see that somewhere on instagram so i've just taken that if there was ever a chance, it's it's now. It's now. New coaching staff with All Blacks. New, t Not so much a new team, but new coaching staff, new way, style of play, potentially. If England ever wanted to pounce, it's now. Before we get into it, hit that like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who's going to win this game? How is it going to be won? What do you guys think? We are doing a little preview here going through the All Blacks team. I've already gone through the English side. Go check that out on the channel as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let's get into it. So we've got Ethan DeGroote, Cody Taylor, and Tyrell Lomax up front. Then we've got Scott Barrett and Patrick Tuipolotu in the locks. The back row, Sammy Penny, Finau, Dalton Papali'i, and Ari Savia. And then in the 9 and 10, we've got TJ Perinara and Damien McKenzie. Um, the centers, Jordi Barrett and Rico Ioane. And then the back three of Mark Talia, Sevu Reese and Steven Perofeta. Good, strong side. Impact, we've got Asaf Almoa, Ofa Tuonga Fasi, Fletcher Newell, Tupovai, Luke Jacobson, Finlay Christie, uh, Anton Leonard Brown and Bowden Barrett. So running running through the front row, they'll be up for it, man. And whether they like it or not, it's going to be a massive front row battle. England's front row strong as well. Lava scrum. So you can see them three lock or them six locking horns for that first scrum. Can't wait for it, man. I'm not, not too clued up on what happens there. That's the dark arts, if you ask me. But, man, it's always exciting to see to see those the, the, the piggies go at it. Um. In the locks, Paddy Tuipolotu. I, I called Tupovai to start, but Paddy Tuipolotu gets the jump there. So he's been rewarded for his, his super rugby season. Hard working, man. How good come back from. I think he broke his jaw at the start of the year and then later on broke toys MCL and just kept coming back, man. I think he's I think they've picked him over Tupovai for his um, physical presence. I think his, his ball carrying ability is that little bit better than Tupovai. So strong, so strong with ball in hand. Always gets over that vantage line. Uh, he's got that good little good little footwork before contact as well. So I think he gets the jump there. Um, and then obviously his leadership. He's been captain for the Blues for that long now. That leadership role definitely does help in that regard. Back row on the money. I picked it. Big hitters, big hitters and hard workers. Sammy Penny Finau. He's just going out there to carnage, man, to inflict pain. <laughs> strong, strong tackles. Loves lining up the opposition fly off. Uh, he's done it a number of times in Super Rugby for the Chiefs. Uh, don't want to get carded, so he'll be yeah, he'll be like controlled aggression. I think is the big one there. But then you look at Dalton and Ardy. man, ninety minute players. These guys just kept going, keep going. With regards to everything, tackles, rucks, carries, uh, clean outs, whatever you need, second efforts, line outs, whatever you need from these guys, they'll do it and they'll do it for a full 80, 90 minutes. Um, guys that you want in your side. So it goes without saying, man. Nine and 10, called it cool, calm, collected, TJ and DMAC. Have the experience. You know what you're getting from them. Um, kicking wise as well as massive for for the All Blacks for any team really. D Max been kicking the ball lovely off the tee, um, and then like dictating, not dictating, but directing and 
um, knowing when to slow the game down, controlling the tempo of the game. TJ and DMAC been doing it for that long. They know how, know when to go fast, know when to slow it down, know when to kick. Um, and that's going to be a crucial part of the game, that general, general kicking out of hand, um, the contestable up and unders, the attacking kicks of so the little grubbers and those finding grass, maybe the 50-22 kicks. Those will be massive as one. Obviously, the goal kicking for DMAC. 12 and 13, um, they went for Rico over Proctor, over Anton Leonard Brown. Like I said, Rico, not the best form at Super, but when he puts that All Blacks jersey on, different beast, a different beast. Then Jordy Barrett gives you that go forward Every first phase, he's going to truck it up and he's giving you that front football, strong defensively. And then another great kicking option, long boot on him. One of the biggest boots in the game. Uh, good to have there. Back three on the money, man. I called Talia and Reese to be in there just because I think they work right. What they do off the ball, they now the extra carries around the rucks, picking up from nine and just beating three or four def defenders. Their try scoring abilities are second to none. Um, scoring tries for fun, really. You, you, they don't need much space. Just give them the ball. Beat the, the ability to beat defenders one on one, unreal. Um, and then I think their defensive efforts as well, especially especially Severis. He's get up and go, scramble defense. Fantastic, and and they'll be they'll be looking, uh, or England will be looking to test them with a kick. So look out for them for t getting under those high balls, um, and that's where Perofeta will come in as well. I think a lot of people called Bowden Barrett to start there, but I just think with Perofeta's how like the his legs have been ticking over. He's been playing consistent high class or high standard rugby with the Blues in Super, uh, where Barrett, they finished playing in Japan a number of weeks ago. Um, so just getting those legs ticking over is super important coming into massive games like this. And they'll, they'll want a calm, cool head at the back there and obviously another kicking option. So massive for Perofeta. And then the, the impact that the bench can bring on, they, they've gone for a 5-3 split. Um, Almoa and Tonga Fasi, oof, man, and Fletcher Newell's cool. They bring a whole new front row on because I think it will be needed, man. The scrums are going to play a massive role in this game. Um, and then like Finlay Christie bringing that punch on in the back. Um, someone like Anton Leonard Brown can cover a few spots there and, and Bowden Barrett as well can cover pretty much the whole back line which is good. It's good to have those guys on the bench. So where the game will be won or lost, I feel like, and let me know. I want to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. So I've, I'm in four, four bits here. So up front, um, set piece, line out, scrums, contact points. So your tackles, your rucks, um, working on England's rush defense. So that's going both ways. So whether England have worked enough on it for it, for them to stay connected in it and then whether all blacks can pick apart that rush defense so picking out maybe one player comes out too soon there's the skip pass or the short option to run through those um well picking out that defense really um, and we all know that is it it's felix felix jones the coach there defensive coach he was with the spring box it's strong rush defense he's brought that to england now um, and that was still kind of working on that during the Six Nations. Obviously, had a lot more time now to fix it. So it'll be interesting to, interesting to see how that plays out. The intensity, obviously, All Blacks love quick, fast, intense game. Can they do that with this being their first game altogether, first international game of the season? Can they still bring that high intensity? And then, so it's, can they bring that? But then can, if they can, can England keep up with that? Yes, England will bring their own intensity to the test match, but we all know, man, All Blacks intensity, different beast. So can All Blacks, all Blacks bring that intensity, it being their first game together? And if they can, can England keep up with it? Kicking, I think that'll be a massive. So that's my third part. Kicking obviously kicks a goal. Super important, always important scoreboard pressure. It could come down to a penalty late on. Um, are you kicking your goals? Massive, massive, massive. And then general kicking, exiting as well. General kicking as in attacking kicks or finding grass, 50-22s, massive, uh, contestable kicks. 
So you're putting it up so that your wingers can chase onto it and put pressure on the defensive side. But then exiting as well. So you've scored points, you receive the kickoff, how well can you exit? You've seen it in the Super Rugby that so many teams struggle with exiting and they they score points, but they concede points straight away. So they give away a penalty um, right from that kickoff receipt or they knock on or they don't kick it out far enough so that their, team, their opposition has got an attacking line out in their 22. So that's a massive part of this. And then four is taking opportunities, man. There'll be a few opportunities for both teams, but can you finish it? Can you stick that last pass? Can you clean out that last ruck? Can you dot down in the corner? Massive regardless. It test level, you only get small opportunities. Can you take those opportunities? Can you finish them? Can you stick that last pass? Like I said, oh man, it's exciting. Massive, huge. I think I've said massive 20 times. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I have run through the England squad as well. Check it out on the channel a few videos back, but let me know what you think. I'm going to give my prediction quickly. I think All Blacks too strong. All Blacks in New Zealand, different beast under the roof at Forsyth Bar. Weather won't play a role in this game. I think All Blacks too strong. All Blacks by eight. All Blacks by eight. England will put up a massive fight though. That first half, I could even see England leading in the first half and then All Blacks coming back. Let me know what you guys think. What are your predictions? Hit that subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.